Linkstar is the best support of... I wanted to explain why this is the case just a little bit. Uh, for those of you who just clicked on this video, I'm expecting two kinds of people. Either A, you know, support's already really good, or Linkstar in general is just OP, or B, you think I'm retarded, and I'm not telling the truth. So before we get into that more, I just want to establish some credibility. To who am I exactly? I've been playing Deep Woken since release, basically. And I've helped a lot of people with the support playstyle since then. Over time, it's changed more and more. And I've gotten much credibility from people. Lots of stories of people saying they've won 2v6s, 3v9s. The most impressive being a 2v14 somehow. And we're going to talk about that more later. First, we're going to talk about what is the best support oath in the game. And that's currently Link Strider. Starting off with sustain. A good sustain with a blessed gem can heal 15% true healing every 7 seconds. This is really good. And the only real two ways to counter this is either A, the person's using all the dead gods, which is, I mean, let's be realistic, who's really using that anymore, and B, Saint J. Uh, a little bonus, you can also use a bloodless gem instead of a blessed gem. And while the cooldown will be 14 seconds instead of 7, you'll actually only take 2% self damage from it. So, a little, a little bonus there. Uh, the tethers, this one's actually quite unknown for some reason. Which is quite surprising, but the tethers actually do give buffs and debuffs. So for one, our, our blue tethers on allies will give a 20% damage resistance, 5% attack buff. Technically, another 30% because it does proc speed demon. Uh, and they do move faster. And the debuffs are just the opposite for enemies. So if I put a red link on an enemy, they'll take 20% more damage. And they'll deal 5% less damage. You get the idea. So the, tethers, the tethers are really good. And finally, Leech. Leech is severely underrated. It can proc talents like Air Pressure, Anxious Guard, Hard Read, and more. I mean, there's a lot. It can, Leech can proc multiple talents, basically. It, it does bypass block, so even if the opponent is blocking, you will get health no matter what. It also deals true damage. For those of you who don't know what true damage is, it's basically when you could be at like a thousand health and I'll do always this amount of damage no matter what you can have a jillion resistances I will always do this much damage and yeah it does heal more if you use a bloodless um some common arguments uh so one of the biggest ones that say people usually say is blind series is usually a better pick than link strider is a common argument and we're going to talk about blinds here more so all it really does have is just an aoe heal this is a small range, but it can actually be modified for those who didn't know. But the downside is longer ritual casting, and this is can be pretty punishing. Um, you cannot, yeah, you cannot roll while using Mind Soothe. So during your ritual cast, you're kind of just jumping around. You're really slow, hopefully trying to cast everything. And the more modifiers, the keys will actually be randomized. So you cannot just macro uh, cat spells like this. Mindsooth also has a 30 second cooldown. This is actually pretty bad compared to Linkstar only having a 7 second cooldown, assuming you did a blessed gem. So that's a pretty major difference. Mindsooth heals 60%. Oh, sorry. Mindsooth heals 50 HP, unlike Linkstar's 15% healing. So in verse 1, builds had a lot less health at that time. But then in verse 2, people started using Shrine Order a lot more. So builds became way more tanky. No, it's the norm is around like 500 health is basically the norm. So mind soothe, not really healing much compared to Link Strider now. For example, if my friend has 500 health, and my mind soothe, my mind soothe would only heal 12% every 30 seconds. Unlike my Link Strider, healing 15% health every 7 seconds. This is a pretty big difference. And here's some math, and it's probably right. I don't know. Uh, the blue represents Link Strider, the black represents Mind Sooth. Uh, my one benefit though is that Mind Sooth does actually bypass all the dead gods and Saint J, so that's a pretty neat buff. That's a little, that's like it's basically one up. Uh, yeah, this is another issue. AOE healing is good, but healing multiple people is very unlikely in big ganks. I don't know if anyone watching that. I mean. 
you guys probably do ganks, what am I saying? But if you are in Guild Wars, usually everyone being grouped up is not very common. <laughs> usually everyone's kind of just doing ones. So a big AoE heal is really never going to happen. And yeah, like here's a little diagram. You have this idiot fighting this guy. You get the idea. They're all fighting. You with the mind suit, they're only really going to heal like one of these, one or two people at most. Just to be clear, I'm not saying Blind Seer is a bad support oath. I'm just saying you can. It doesn't give the same value like Link Strider. I cannot mid max Blind Seer for support when Link Strider is way more in terms of build making and mid maxing compared to Blind Seer. Like Blind Seer, it's just Mind Suit. That's it. There's nothing really to expand upon for like build synergy compared to Link Strider, which I think yeah I'll talk about more of that more of that later. Uh, but point is, Link Strike gets way more value in terms of its buffs and healing. Blind Seer just has an AoE heal. That's kind of it. Next we have Salchemist. This is another quote, support oath. I don't know why people ca keep calling it the support oath. It's kind of like... It's kind of just there, you know? It's not like the best support oath. I mean, it can technically support, which we'll, ta we'll talk about more. Basically have salts. One of these salts has the negative effects for allies and has the positive effects of enemies. Meaning my health potion will heal my friends for 2%, but the enemy will heal 1%. Yeah, pretty crazy healing, right? Uh, this can be useful if you use like speed potions. That's kind of it. And, and insanity, I guess. Not really too much though. Uh, yeah, like I said, the biggest one being... Actually, yeah, the biggest one being here is damage decrease potions because my damage decreased by default have someone's damage entirely so if i do big potion clouds with sulchemist i'm much more likely to hit the enemy so they would lose 50 percent of their damage but my allies would lose only 25 percent because we're using salts if that makes sense just to re-clarify the enemy will lose 50% of their damage, but my ally will only lose 20% of their damage, basically making a net of 25%. Uh, yeah, Linkster already gives this 20 gives a 20% resistance buff already, and upon way more other buffs we mentioned earlier at the start with all its tether buffs, so not really close. But it does Sulkimus does have a weak clouds, but. Another problem with Sulkimus is just the healing is not nearly as good as Link Strider. Like for example, with an 80 int potion, which is usually going to be like average, inverted my inverted potion of three brown caps and two plum fruit only healed four percent. And spamming these do doesn't help either. Like potions do not stack. Like they don't keep adding on to each other. So at when I threw five of these, I only healed seven percent. That extra 3% was from Chain Reaction, if you didn't know. And Chain Reaction amplifies the current effect of a potion. Um, oh yeah, it's in quote support ability is have, has quote potion quaffer for healing friends. If you don't know what potion quaffer does, it's basically anyone near me, when I drink a potion, they'll also get the buff. Though this isn't around Sulchemist, any oath, any build can use potion quaffer. So just there's nothing stopping me from doing a Link Strider build with potions. You see where I'm getting at? Like I could just take that and put it in my Link Strider build anyways, and this whole argument's gone. So it doesn't really matter because Link Strider can already use potions just like Salchemist, so it doesn't really matter. And Link Strider can make a lot of the same potions anyways. I'm not saying Salchemist is terrible. I'm just saying for support, Link Strider is way better. Can already do some of the same things anyways uh health potions are one of the many solutions for link Strider's downside so as we know spam sure links one of you may be saying right now sure you have a seven second cooldown with link Strider, but realistically are you spamming that yes actually there are a lot of ways to spam that and one of this one of the ways is using health potions because we're constantly getting some health back we can just give it back to allies so there's basically very little downside. Well, there's no downside. I'm getting health back and I'm giving it back to my enemy, to my allies. Even if I'm getting like a plus 3% percent 
value from a health potion because I know health potions got major nerfs. They're still worth using because I'm giving, I'm still getting value from my health potion. Also, because there's like a lot of cool combos you can do with health potions, like all return plus potion coffer is really good. And if you're scared of people camping you, you can just do it on a rampart. So like rampart, all return, potion coffer, really cool combo. There's plenty of combos with support. Uh. Yeah, like I said earlier, we can make a lot of the same potions. Doesn't really matter too much. So, like, yeah, just like with blinds here, I'm not saying Salkamus is bad. I'm just saying. Link Strider, in terms of value for support, can be mid-maxed way more compared to Salkamus and Blind Seer. Salkamus is the potion oath. It's not the support oath. Blind Seer is kind of like... A semi support at most it just has like mind soothe, that's it. That's all it has. It just has mind soothe. Stop saying it's the support oath. That's kind of it. But I'm not saying either of these oaths are bad. I'm just saying if you're gonna min max support, do it right and play Link Strider. Uh, finally, we have Fade Trimmer. I'm embarrassed I even have to make a slide of this. It's a complete garbage oath. It's completely terrible. It's one upside when it. Its penetration was super high as well. Now it's gone, so now this oath is completely useless, and you're kind of stupid for even thinking this was a good oath. Um, that is a terrible range, so the only viable time you're ever actually going to use its heal spray is at a freaking campfire. But at this point, if you're both at a campfire, why don't just use proc potion quaffer or use sustain? You know? And if we're both at a campfire, I'll get my health back from the campfire anyways if I'm playing Link Strider. Like, you see where I'm getting at? There's no real point to be playing Fade Trimmer. Like, like let me really explain it. If I'm at, if we're both at a campfire, if I'm Link Strider, my only downside is losing health when I heal someone. I'm healing my friend 14% every 7 seconds. I could just get the health back at the campfire just like I was playing with Fade Trimmer. Doesn't matter. And Link Strider heals, wait, heals more as well. Remember, Link Strider is not just healing, we have tether buffs as well. Do not forget. It's just garbage, don't use Fade Trimmer. Yeah, they heal the same rate. You can, oh yeah, this is a big, this is the biggest argument. You can't realistically use Fade Trimmer mid gank. I'm sorry, you are not spamming the heal. Don't glaze Fade Trimmer 7 second heal if you're not actually spamming it. With Link Strider, I can actually spam it in ganks. Yeah, Link Strider's only downside is loss of health. So when we're using stuff like Run It Back, Health Potions, Conditional Runner, or No Life King if you really want, and Leech, I mean we're getting so much health back anyways, that we're not we're not losing any. But yeah, you should be one of the, probably in my opinion the best spell is Run It Back for Link Strider. There are other options though. Yeah, just to really remind you, these are all of Link Strider's buffs, and this is Fade Trimmer. You just get a a heal of that's really close. That's terrible. Yeah, take a look at the screen really quick. I know some of you are tabbed out right now. Look, look, look at the screen. Kind of a big difference here. Fate Tremor's only thing is 7 second heal, but I heal 10%. You are never using Fate Tremor's heal mid gank. Don't act like you do. And if you say you do, you're lying. You don't actually play Fate Tremor. You probably just made some cringy video trying to think you're smart. Yeah, Link Strider is way more helpful in a 2v9. Like, what are you... If you're in any outnumbered scenario with Fate Trimmer, what are you going to do? You're not ever going to heal your teammate. You might as well just start running. Damn. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can tell I hate Fate Trimmer. So now how do you play Link Strider? Then? What is the actual way of playing Link Strider? You're supposed to be track starring and supporting. What I mean by this, you're not actually fighting. You're buffing, you're organizing your team, you're giving info, uh, you're debuffing the enemy. Like, there's a lot. Do. Yeah, you're also distracting the people. So yeah, we're gonna talk about this more in a second. So here's kind of like the left side is what you should be doing, the right side is what you shouldn't be doing. So a good link strider right here. If you guys will look on the screen again, I know I'm sorry I'm asking a lot. The left side is a good link strider. This little bug, this little guy. Look, he has his tethers active. He's putting the, he's debuffing the enemy. He's buffing his friend. He's distracting these two guys, meaning these two guys that are chasing the Link Strider are doing absolutely absolutely nothing in the gank. So what's happening is, we're turning this 2v3 
into just a 2v1 basically because we're taking these two guys at the bottom left out of the equation because these guys at the bottom aren't actually fighting so this guy who's who thinks he's in a 1v1 is in a very unfair fight and well it's always guaranteed to lose but here on the right side of the screen we have a link strider fighting his teammate look none of his tethers are active he's not using any of his buffs he's not supporting his team so now we just have a normal 2v3 it's a big difference here uh, I did note, though, if you are going to have your red tethers, they should be on the person your friend is fighting. Because as we mentioned earlier, they do they do make the enemy take more 20% more damage. So you should always have the red tethers on who your friend is fighting. It's just a drawing mistake I made. Don't worry. And yeah, really, this gets even more crazy in bigger ganks. Because realistically, look, 1v1, 1v1 happening here. One guy has steroids, the other... Uh, distracting a bunch of these little cubes and not doing anything and for those of you who are skeptical of this I am speaking from experience this isn't just some random yap I'm making up a lot of these support players know what I'm talking about you can you can even join my server and ask if you're really skeptical just join my server and ask people around like this is normal this is how we play uh, so yeah Link Strider gets a ton of value from just running away because we're taking people out of the equation. Sustain has a really short cooldown. So unlike Fade Trimmer, we can actually use Sustain mid-fight. So I can just run around, spam Sustain, run around, spam Sustain, keep Tethers active, deal true damage with Leech. Yeah, Leech also just causes just annoying pressure to the enemy. And because we're proccing certain talents, it just gets very annoying. And we're making him take more damage. So to the point where I can give a nut, if we have the correct build with Link Strider, I can almost double my friend's damage. Yeah, kind of crazy. So if your friend's using like a Hive Lord Hubris, you can basically almost double their damage from all of Link Strider's buffs and then Bow's buffs. And then like, for example, we could do like Taunt, All Fight, Sing, or Over Charm, assuming they have Tough Love. Then Link Strider's normal buff. So like Link Strider's default 20% buff or damage increase. And then Link Strider's 20% damage uh, decrease like they'll take 20 percent more damage point is they're taking more than basically double damage so pretty bad for them almost double i'm not sure i didn't do the math i don't care but yeah really sustain as a seven second cooldown you can heal your whole guild basically it's not hard kind of like what i said earlier link strike can min max this style more because we're not actually fighting we can focus our build more around just buffs like taunt sing val mastery commands utility mantras like spark swap focusing on using rhythm mid fight rather than just fighting normally we can focus on using health potions uh debuff potions like 50 percent damage decrease bombs for true damage and mobility spamming ice daggers because they're auto aim mantras we're basically stunning the opponent and over time it gets really annoying we can use spark swap like i said for control we can control the map around we can i can spark swap my friend out if he's low spamming sing Sing is really annoying because in core we're constantly stunning everyone even if it's like a fraction of a second it can actually get some value and do some devious ruin it can literally just shut down combos in core can it's really funny oh yeah and there's way more things i forgot like this is the very tolly tip of it like, there's way more i'm just putting it all in a very short uh, slide because i know you have very low attention spans uh yeah tons of people don't play Linkstar like this, and they'll usually just call it shit. But I promise you, Linkstar is really good if you actually play it right. It's amazing. A lot of people can back me up. My server can back me up for this. It's really good. I have two two combat guides here. We have my advanced one. Uh, if you do actually watch that, please use Grand Javelin instead of the Duke Mantra. Just, just a little note. <laughs> it's so much better. Anyways, keep moving. Um, we're going to talk about a little few more arguments. For those of you who are saying Val Mastery is bad. Um, no, Val Mastery is really good. For one, all fight gives a damage increase in damage. Uh, defense increase. These both actually bypass the cap. If you didn't know, Deep Woken has a mo damage multiplier cap, but all fight actually bypasses this. So, really good. Uh, command run is kind of mid, but it can be good in water fights because you we just move faster in water. Uh, return is OP. Anytime your teammate is down, you can just revive them, and it only has a 15 second cooldown. So like I said, just for you guys who didn't listen, because I know you're all dumb, if my teammate is downed, 
I could just use command return to revive them. Yeah, return revives people if you didn't know. And it's only a 15 second cooldown. Fun fact, this also does stack with Blight Awakening. So, have fun with that. And finally, Command Live. For some reason, nobody knows how Command Lives works. This is kind of funny. So, uh, Command Live doesn't actually share a cooldown. Every individual has a cooldown of an of 40 minutes. So, meaning, if you have one dude with Vow and Mastery, every single person in your guild basically gets an extra life because they're, the cooldown is for the individual not shared the cooldown is not shared between live it's for every person specific gets a 40 minute cooldown so if i'm like depth skanking every single one of my teammates will have an extra life it's a really good vow master he's very underrated i think every guild should have someone with vow at least if you're gonna if you don't believe my rant about link strider i don't whatever um i mean i, I gave you the evidence the two years of experience but apparently that's not good enough so at the very least use Vow mastery it's really really busted uh yeah but some of you maybe you like i want to still fight i want to pvp a link strider well that's okay you technically can i don't really recommend it i think pure support gives way more way more value because you're focusing on your buffs and actual sustain you're mid maxing on that seven second cooldown of sustain so Min max on that, will ya? And keep your tethers active. Because if you're PvPing, you don't really get your tethers active very much. And they're really good. Uh, if you do PvP, I just at least, at the bare minimum, use Run It Back. The idea is, if you didn't know, Run It Back gives you immortality. Mid gank, I use Run It Back. If it's corrupted, I can get give my teammate two free sustains without taking any damage. And if you do it... I would also I also do recommend Hero Blade. Flame is really good. Flame and Ice do one of those. Usually just Flame, maybe yes, yeah, sorry. Flame is really good for PvP Link Strider. But try not to focus too much on actual fighting, because you have to remember you did invest a lot of points into to charisma and into charisma. So remember try not to focus too much. You kinda just want to pick people off. Is what you want your mindset if you do pvp links again i don't recommend it but if you really want to matt try to like pick off people don't try to focus on fighting please a common mistake the tethers are really good keep them active some more arguments uh it's not chime viable <sighs> yeah i didn't know the support oath was supposed to be chime viable i didn't know this game was all about chime I, whatever. Uh, Link Strider has no good buffs. Yes, guys. Link Strider is not. Yeah, look on the stream. Stream. Look at the screen, guys. Yeah. Look. Open this. Open this. Open the slides. Open it. I know some of you are tabbed out right now. I'm calling you out. Look. What does that say? These are all the freaking buffs Link Strider gives by default. Use them. It's good. Abuse these. They're actually good. I'm not saying. These are literally just the oath by default. Come on. Uh, Leech is trash. Leech is really good. There's a lot of tech with it. I did show... Uh, there's some of my PvP... Advanced PvP guide. You can go look into that more. Leech is really good. Uh, yeah. Absolutely garbage healing, apparently. Linkstra has the worst healing in the game. Only healing 15% true health every 7 seconds. This is completely terrible. And should be removed honestly this is garbage guys we should not be healing 15 percent every seven seconds because clearly this is not good enough it's not like i'm out healing your damage that's no i'm also giving a defense buff we're not gonna talk about that but okay yeah the healing's trash guys uh you don't need support to the people who die first in ganks don't tell me you don't need support okay if no one needed support then how the hell are any of you dying okay and then all the dead gods counters Link Strider. This is the only somewhat valid argument. The only problem with this is literally no one uses all the dead gods anymore. <laughs> after the Shrine of... Uh, after some talent change or some Shrine of Order change or whatever. I don't know what they did. Uh, no one uses all the dead gods anymore. It's pretty rare. And even if they do, remember we have other teammates we can heal. It's not A whole guild is not going to be running all the dead gods. And even if there were... 
We have way more than just healing. Linkstar has all these other buffs. Keep your tethers active, guys. They, we can still buff our teammates. And if they're really low, we can just use some tech to pull our teammates away. It's just like maybe Rampart return, blah, 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 whatever, do whatever. Oh yeah, I did something I forgot to mention with Run It Back. Some of you are probably worried about your bell being camped if you use Run It Back. This is not an issue, just use uh, Rampart. So Rampart, run it back, two free sustains, blah, blah, blah. Uh, make sure your run it back's corrupted though. Preferably you want the shadow variant, that will give you enough time. But yeah. <sighs> um, yeah, these are just some examples. You could just run away apparently from what people say. Some of the mod st stuff in the game that prevents you from running away. Hey guys, this is an, this is an editor's note here. Forgot to mention, I'm not sure if this is still the case, but mobility mantras do scale off how what your current health is at. So if I'm at 20% left, my mobility mantras are going to be worse. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but from last time I checked, that's how it is. So even when the lower you are, your mobility is reduced. Even your mantras are, your mobility mantras become worse. So yeah, good luck running. Um... Yeah, I mean, if you could just run away, how does anyone die in ganks? I mean... It's just... Um... Support builds do absolutely no damage. Yes, guys, we do zero damage. We have leech dealing true damage. We have bombs dealing true damage. We have potions dealing true damage. Yeah, we have zero damage. Fun fact, leech actually does scale with the person's health. I forgot to mention that. I'm glad I wrote that down. So, for example, let's say you're what 650 hp build your little tank build you think you're cool for having so much health well my leech will actually heal more off of you this also includes bosses so if i'm fighting duke or if i'm fighting fairy man i'll heal like a bar i'll heal like two bars from leech or something <laughs> yes leech healing does scale off the players the enemy player's health so i'll heal more if you have more health so link strike could uh somewhat counter tank builds and just bombs and potions deal true damage. The reason I'm mentioning bombs is that if you didn't know, bombs scale with int and Link Strider Alchemy is based, is the meta basically with Link Strider if I had to say. So, I mean there are other ways of playing Link Strider but in my opinion Alchemy Link Strider is the best because we also have bombs because bombs scale with int and bombs deal true damage and bombs also offer us mobility which is what's called bomb jumping which again you can look at my advanced pvp guide if you want to go check that out just remember use grand javelin instead of the duke mantra please i'm embarrassed Ugh. um finally some of you are probably asking what is the right build then if you're so smart why why don't you tell me how what the right build is and the point is this will be a future video i'm too tired it's, I, I don't know future video not today Hope you all enjoyed. I uh, think I covered basically most of the arguments. I mean, I probably did. Alright, see ya.